know, many, many years ago, I played against Liz. She was a phenomenal athlete and golfer. Of course, we know that. She made it to the LPGA Tour. Um, she was great sportsmanship out there playing. So just having her name represent this award is exciting in itself. I started playing golf when I was seven or eight with my dad. Um, my dad enjoyed the game. Uh, we used to throw base the baseball around in the backyard and I used to take his clubs, which my dad was 6'2", I'd take his clubs and choke down and try and hit a ball in the backyard and I could, we live on the, on the marsh, not that it was good to hit the ball in the marsh back then, but I'd try and hit it into the marsh. And then eventually he took me to play um, a nine hole course in North Brantford and then eventually joined uh, Country Club and grew up playing golf with that, with my dad. And then my mom started to play too. The competitive edge that Holland plays with each and every event was acquired at a young age thanks to her time playing Little League Baseball. Yeah, I was uh, a little girl and didn't have a place to play and I loved playing baseball because at the time in 1970, I want to say 71, 72, somewhere in there, 73, there was no softball team or anything and I played in the neighborhood with all the boys baseball and I'm like, mom, I want to play on the team and whatnot. So they had to ask permission and I went to the tryouts with, you know, 200 other boys in the town and I made the major leagues instead of the minor leagues. So. That was pretty cool. I was the only girl in the whole league, and I was a shortstop and the pitcher. Jen's competitive golf career began at Springfield College. She wasn't on the team until her senior year after the golf coach saw her playing in golf class and asked her why she wasn't on the team. Holland would compete on the team as a senior, setting the stage for her standout amateur career. I started playing. Somebody got me to join the women's club here, and one of the players here um, Joyce was her name and she eventually left her job and became an LPGA teaching pro down south but she's like Jen you need to play in this 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 and this and I'm like I don't know anything about those what do I do so um, I think one of the first events I played in might have been the state amateur that was being held here back in the early 90s 91 92 3 somewhere in there um, so Basically, she steered me toward the competitive side here in the state. Due to COVID-19, Holland's schedule was reduced this year, but she still shined in her limited playing opportunities, finishing second at the Connecticut Women's Amateur and winning the Snuga Individual Championship. Well, fortunately, this year it was held at Richter Park, one of my favorite public courses in the state, other than my home course, Lyman Orchards. Um, I know that course I would say like the back of my hand just like I do this one so um, I played pretty well that week um, the greens were rolling pretty well that week as well at Richter Park um, had some good competition some of my uh, favorite players I like to play against and uh, things worked out well. Helen always competitive in whatever she does and with a long history of success in the state and region decided that after she turned 50 that she would test her game at the national level. So when I turned 50, just a couple years ago, <laughs> um, the, the senior women's amateur was on my radar. Um, and I kind of missed a year because I thought my birthday was, I, I could have played the year before. So my first year was the 2014 and it was in New Jersey. And I'm like, oh, it's around the corner in New Jersey. Let me try and do this. And actually that year I made it to the round of 32 in 2014 for the senior women's AM and I had fun. It was competitive, I had fun, um, so I've tried to do it every year. Even with all her success and despite her motto of one shot at a time, Helen has long had her sights fixed on qualifying for the U.S. Senior Women's Open at Brooklawn Country Club. Postponed from 2020 to 2021, Helen is already beginning to gear up for the qualifying process recently playing a practice round at the course. I had the uh, course guidebook, so I was taking notes as we played. Um, so hopefully I can transfer those next year when I qualify. Um, the, the hard part will be getting through the qualifying because playing against some LPGA pros. Until then, 
Powell is just grateful that she was able to compete this season. Thank you to CSGA for all of their hard work and the challenges that you've gone through with the COVID and making everything the best that you guys have been able to do this year.